Hi, my name is Josh and I just want to share with you a few tips that I've learned about growing my coffee plant here in Florida. So, the first thing I found out is that it does not like full sun. Uh, when I first got it, I just put it in the middle of the yard just to see what would happen. Hated it. So, now I've moved it over to the east side of my house underneath some shrubs and uh, it just gets a lot of morning sun. So right behind you is a giant oak tree, it's in my neighbor's yard, and uh, the sun just kind of peeks through it, kind of dapples it like it is now. Um, right now it's like 10 a.m., um, so it's getting a lot, a lot of morning sun, it's not super intense, and then by the time the intense like afternoon heat rolls around, these shrubs in the house uh, are there to protect it. Um, second thing I learned is it hates the cold also. Um, last winter got down to like, it got, it got almost freezing, and I just kind of left it. I got, I got probably got pretty lucky it didn't die, um, so it doesn't like the cold, so that's why I keep it in a pot, so that I can take it in, or it's easily, it's easy to cover, it's not super huge, so if you're wanting like a blanket or something, you can do that too. Um, so it doesn't like the cold, doesn't like intense sun, um, it likes deep waterings, so like about twice a week I'll, uh, I'll drench the soil, like I'll just soak that thing. Um, it seems to really, really love that. Um, so the last thing that I'm kind of playing with right now is the soil and how to fertilize it. Um, I've got some more soil. I'm getting ready to move it into a bigger pot right now. Um, this plant is like, if I had to say, I'd probably say four years old. Because um, when I got it, I got it two years ago. Um, and it was probably only like, like this tall, maybe half the height. And way less bushy. It was like, it was pretty thin. Um, so I've grown it for two years now. One of those years was a pretty rough life. <laughs> um, we were in a growing phase and um, now it's doing pretty good. I think I've kind of figured out what it likes. Um, so I'm getting ready to put it into a bigger pot. I'm not sure how many gallons this pot is, but the new pot that I got for it is right here. Um, it's 22 inches wide. So it's going to go into that and um, I'll take you over to see, to show you how I'm going to build the soil. Alright, so yeah, this is how I'm going to build the soil. Um, I'm going to use a mix of peat moss, a beneficial fungi, some perlite, some lava rock, secret ingredient, uh, earthworm castings, some compost, and don't forget about the mulch. Mulching is super important. Um, so yeah, I'm going to build this soil. It's going to be pretty acidic, I think, because peat moss is going to be the base. Um, but I think that's alright, because coffee likes pretty acidic soil. Um, and... This super secret touch that I learned from this other YouTube video. It's uh, from a guy called M.I. Gardener. I'll post a link to his video. He says to add lava rock to the soil instead of like a decorative touch, how it's normally used, kind of like a mulch, to take it and crush it up and put it in the soil and then it adds lots of iron to the soil. Um, and coffee is normally grown on like mountainous regions. Um, so it kind of adds maybe like a familiar touch to it. So yeah, we'll see. I think that's pretty interesting. I'm gonna give it a go. Um, but yeah, uh, if you have any questions about how I'm building this soil, you can head over to my website, like the ratios I'm using. It's flgardening.com slash growing coffee. Um, and I wrote a little article there about my experience with growing coffee and like the exact ratios I'm gonna use with all this stuff. So yeah, I hope this video answers your questions about growing coffee in Florida. And if you can, because you definitely can. So yeah, you should. Goodbye. Okay,